Then, <coughs> so let us write down this velocity. Uxt is what? Can you uh, so say you? write down this velocity for me. Okay, first term I have minus dx. The common thing 1 over rho 0 and we have exponential minus k omega t plus phi px. Okay. And the first term is dp dx minus j omega, here j omega, omega, so I got omega over here, okay? Okay, then I have dp dx. And I minus 1 and minus cancel out. I have 1 over j, right? So I have 1 over j. 1 over j. Let's put over here. And then I have this term is minus minus jj go away and the rho 0 omega. So I have plus p d phi p dx and then I have sorry exponential minus j this term okay mistake which one minus j so I have minus Right. So, 백진장도 맞들면 낫다. Okay. Now, this is below the. Where is our pressure? Okay, our pressure. Let me write that. So comparing this pressure and this velocity, wow, that is very interestingly different, right? There's a some term that is in phase, this term, and this term is not in phase, okay? Because there is a phase difference, in space, you have some term is in phase and some term is not in phase. Okay. Then the intensity is what? Intensity. What is the intensity? What do you do? You multiply this and this? Sure? You want to do that? This is complex. Why? Right? That's why many textbooks has error. What, the reason why we are studying intensity is to understand what physically really happened. Right? 
So in fact, we want to know the relation between real pressure and the velocity. What is the real pressure? Maybe I can say that the real part of this term. Okay. Right? And I want to see the real part of this term, meaning that the term that has the same face with the pressure. Understand? That we call active intensity. And the intensity that has phase difference with the real part of this pressure, that would be the something J and, right? That is the intensity that has the different phase with the active intensity, as well as that is the intensity that pressure and velocity has different phase. I will repeat again. First, we intend to know the intensity that has the velocity component that has the real and in phase with this pressure, or more strictly speaking, the real part of this pressure, I mean the velocity that has real and in phase with the real part of this pressure. Or you can say that, oh, no, no, I want to see the velocity that has the same phase with this pressure, and I want to take the imaginary part of this pressure. No problem. If you take the imaginary part of this pressure, then you have to see the velocity that has same phase with the pressure. That means I want to look at the imaginary part of that velocity. Understand? Because we are studying intensity what the intensity really physically means. So you cannot just uh, simply multiply this and this and uh, take a real part and imaginary part. That is very complicated. That, I don't know what it is. What I'm doing is I'm whistling here in a duct. And I can measure pressure, right? And uh, if I measure intensity, what I will get? The measure of pressure would be the real part of this. And I want to see what the velocity that is in phase with that pressure, and I want to see the velocity that is out of phase with that. Pressure.